In this video, we'll learn how to multiply two fractions written in the form of A over B. For example, let us multiply 2 over 5 times 3 over 4. 2 over 5 times 3 over 4, you can think of it as 2 fifths of 3 quarters of a whole or 3 quarters of 2 fifths of a whole. You can think of it uh, either way. I'm gonna show you a visual of how the uh, multiplication of fractions uh, works using this example. First of all, we're gonna start by uh, sketching a diagram that shows a 3 over 4 or 3 quarters of a whole. What I did here, I sketched a rectangle and divided the rectangle into four equal pieces and I shaded uh, three pieces out of four in order to derive the fraction uh, uh, three uh, over four. So this is three over four. Two over five times three over four, as I mentioned earlier, means uh, two-fifths of three uh, quarters. In order to obtain two-fifths of three quarters, I will divide each shaded quarter into five equal parts and then take two parts from each shaded uh, quarter. And the result, I'm going to show you the result in the next diagram. Here is what I did here. I, I took each quarter and divided it into five equal pieces. And since we, the, we want two-fifths of three quarters, so I'm going to shade two pieces out of five from each shaded quarter. There is one. There is another one. And this is the beginning of the second quarter. Here is one. Here is two. There is one here. And here is two. So, how many pieces did I shade? I shade one, two, three, four, five, six. Six parts out of how many? Out of the total number of parts that make the whole. Each quarter is made up of five pieces, so you have four quarters, so that will be a total of 20. And if I want to write this as a fraction, it will be 6 over 20. So, 2 fifths times 3 over 4 equals 6 over 20. Notice here, had we multiplied the numerator of the first fraction by the numerator of the second fraction, we could have obtained 6 because 2 times 3 is 6. And had we multiplied the denominator of the first fraction by the denominator of the second fraction, we could have obtained 20, because 5 times 4 is 20. So in general, if you have a fraction over A over B, you want to multiply by fraction C over D, the answer will be A times C. You multiply the numerators, and then you multiply the denominators. Now, if we ask you to write your answer in simplest form, if you go back to the answer, which is 6 over 20, can you reduce uh, this fraction by the greatest common factor? Okay, let's see. 6, I can write as 2 times 3. And 20, I can write 2 times 10. I can reduce by the greatest common factor, which is 2 and 2 here, and then I will get 3 over 10, and this is the answer in reduced form. Now notice here, 2 over 5 times 3 over 4. Before you multiply uh, straight uh, across, we could have simplified. Notice 4 can be written as 2 times 2, and 2 can be written as 2 times 1. So I have a 2 times 1 here over 5 times 3 over 2 times 2. I can reduce by 2 and by 2. So I get a new fraction, which is 1 over 5 
times 3 over 2, which is 3 over 10. Now, what do we do if we have two mixed numerals or two mixed numbers? You can simply change them to improper fractions and follow the same techniques. Multiply the numerators and then multiply the denominators. This is how the multiplication of fractions works.